Why are we making golf so darn complicated? It's not that difficult. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show you how one line, yes, literally one line, can save three, four, five strokes off your game immediately and transform your golf swing. I'm PJ Teaching Professional Todd Kolb, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And today I'm gonna show you how this one line can help you with your setup, your takeaway, your transition, your impact, and yes, even your finished position. Let's dive right into it, let's get going. All right, so here's what I've got. First of all, we're gonna simplify this darn game today. We're gonna make it easy for you to practice. So, first thing we've got is, I'm working with my Live View. I work a lot with Live View when I'm working with my students here at the Academy because it gives instant feedback, and I love that, and my students can visually see what they're doing, which is really important. So I've got a position here in what we call the Caddy View, the face on view. Now this line, this one magical line, is set off my lead hip, okay? So that's the setup that I've got. Live view, one line off my lead hip. Now let's talk about how that can actually help us with any part of your golf swing. Here we go. All right, number one, when we're sitting there in the setup, Notice how that's there. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna bump your lead hip over that. So notice how I've taken my lead hip and I've moved it over so it's more in the middle, so that line is now more in the middle of my hip. Now why is that important? Because when you shift your weight a little bit forward, it helps with rhythm and tempo. Okay, what do I mean by that? Well, anytime we're doing something that requires tempo and rhythm, which golf does, is it's movement, left, right, left, right. Even when you're walking down the street, there's a natural flow to your pace, right? It's left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. In the golf swing, it's the same way. When you set up here and you move your weight a little bit forward, just like I did there with that magical line, now I've got weight on my left foot, maybe 60%. I can move it to my trail foot and then back to my lead foot. Let me go ahead and actually hit one here and just show you how uh, it works. So I go a little bump into it over the line. I'm going to go left, right and left. So just like walking down the street, right? Left, right, left, the golf swing works the same way in order to create some rhythm and some tempo. Now if you slice the golf ball, this is really important. You probably even want to exaggerate that even a little bit more because when you bump your hip over, it's going to take your upper body, notice here from face on, and tilt it a little bit away. So that's tip number one. That's how this one line can literally transform your golf swing. That's just the setup. Now, I'll tell you this, hey, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel here. Join the family at US Golf TV, not only here, but also our website at usgolftv.com. We have got great content. We're helping golfers all over the world. And please leave a comment, all right? I love hearing from you. Even if you don't agree with me, that's okay. I like hearing from you as well because you might be teaching me some stuff too. So let's dive, let's keep going here. That's the setup position. All right, how about the top of backswing? Let's talk about that. This one simple line, the one line that could literally transform your game. So when you're set in here and you rotate to the top, okay, what I want you to feel is, is that your hips have moved, okay, I've, I've started over it there, right? And as I rotate, in the transition, I'm gonna bump into that. Notice that right there? Okay, that's the move that I look for as a coach. When I've got it set up here from face on, Great players, okay, great players, they start here, they rotate into their trail foot, but in that transition, at the top of the backswing, they bump forward. See that? You can see how my hips moved in there. So what I will do is I like to work what I call three setters. Three setters, meaning we rehearse, 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 and we hit a shot. So let's go ahead and do that. Set in here, we'll do it together. So I'm gonna take it up, there's, there's one, there's two, there's three. Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and hit a shot. All right, that felt really good and replicate that. So that line right there in the transition, you wanna bump into that a little bit. Now, what happens if we don't bump into it? Well, let me show you. Here's what's gonna happen, this might be you. Are you slicing the golf ball or are you hitting behind the ball and struggling with contact? This is for you, pay attention. Here we go, all right, so I'm set in there. In the transition, you're probably moving away from that line. Notice the lower body moves away from it. Okay, when this gap right here, see that gap? In the transition, 
When that gets bigger, notice where the club goes, it goes out and across. It also moves the bottom of the sling backwards, and you're gonna slice it, you're gonna hit behind it, all types of things that can happen right there. So that's a little bit there on the transition. We talked about setup, we talked about transitions, but how about impact? All right, how about impact? Well, let's go through that a little bit, okay? And hopefully already, if you already subscribed to our channel, I hope you've done that, or also make sure you ring that bell so you know when we got new videos coming out. Do that right now because you're gonna wanna hear about it. Okay, so in the transition, we already talked about bumping it, right? But on impact, I love using that line to feel that my students to get their hands to the golf ball, all right, before the club head. See that right there? Boom, so we rehearse that. There it is, boom, I'll say, all right, Jim, get your hands to that red line before the club head gets to the ball. Oh, look at that. See, that's a beautiful impact position right there. Okay, so let's do a three-setter. I love doing the three-setters. Here we go. There's one. Yep, notice the hand's getting there. There's two. There it is. There's three. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit a shot. Replicate that feel. That felt good. All right, so what are you doing? Let's say you lack distance. You're like, gosh, did not hit my seven iron. I don't hit my irons, they don't go very far. What could you be doing? Well, back to the magic line. When you first start watching this video, you probably thought I was crazy saying how one line could literally change your entire swing. Well, you're starting to see where we're going with this. We haven't even talked about the finish. We're gonna talk about that in a second. Okay, all right, so if you've got no distance on your irons, okay, you're probably getting the club head there first. Notice that? Notice how the club head is arriving to the ball. My hands aren't even close to that red line. This is a high handicap position right here. Boom. Look at that. That ball is going straight up in the air. It's probably going to slice versus that position right there. So that's the impact position. So that's a little bit of setup, transition, impact. Now, let's talk about the finish position. Okay. What should you be looking for in the finish position? Let's tie it together. And I, I like to say that the finish position is kind of like the summary. It tells the story. It's one of the first things I look at as a golf coach is I'm like, okay, where are they at when they're finished? Because when they finish their golf swing, that gives me a pretty good indicator of what happened previously. So finish position, here we go. Got the magic line right off the lead hip. Now when you finish the swing, I'm gonna go ahead and just hit one. There it is. Felt pretty good, a little bit on the toe. Notice where my body's at relative to the line. It's up and over it. My hips are over the red line, my weight is forward, and I'm gonna, that line right here, that red line, is going almost right through the middle of my body. It's one of the beauties of Live View. I love working with Live View with my students because that's instant feedback. I don't even need to say anything. I put the line up, I tell them, hey, when you finish your swing, get that line through the middle of your body. That's all I say, and boom, they start hitting better golf shots, okay? That's what you're looking for when you're coaching. We don't need to make it complicated. Keep it simple, okay? Now, what are you doing if you're maybe slicing the golf ball? What should you be looking for? Well, you probably know where we're going with this. <laughs> you're not over that line, right? You're back here. Look at that. See that? Look at that big space, that gap. And that, that, You can even tell by the shot. It was thin. It was weak. It was to the right you're back here, versus getting more forward and being there. So when we're talking about the golf swing, okay, if you're still listening to this, you're in to your golf swing. You, you want to get better. You've got to simplify it. You've got to find something that makes it super easy. All right, when you get set up, next time you head to the golf course, okay, put a little line up there, bump into it on your setup, Make a couple rehearsals where you transition and bump and get your hands there. There's one, there's two. I mean, I could do this, that's just a feeling. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit a shot. Boom, check my finished position. There I am, I'm up and over. So one line, one magical line can transform your golf swing and more importantly, make the game simple and help you start playing better golf.